morning guys it's uh, Sunday morning about 8 a.m. going up to a Lake Jackson rotation it's in the mall parking lot so I'm not really expecting it to be too bad well I say that it's hit pretty hard I thought they said it was a Nissan maybe it's the one on the other side there that little it's like a Dodge Avenger hit pretty hard. Going to be swinging around here. There's a Nissan right there, that truck. We'll probably be picking this one up. It's up on top of the curb. Here and see what we got. Make sure it's not hung up on anything before we block the road or anything. Traffic's really light right now. Stay here, Stitch Dope. Stay here, buddy. There'll be some cleanup. Morning. Yeah, it's this one, right? Okay. How's it going? Just, yeah. That's just rubbing. That's why I wanted to, I want to make sure it wasn't rubbing on nothing or hung up on anything. I don't think there's a sign or anything down here. Nothing substantial. Just this little thing. Some pictures while they are messing with that. I've got a couple questions about the apps and stuff we use. It's called Towbook. Show the damage on that corner. So just get it from the back so I don't have to turn it none. We'll go ahead and back into it real quick. Up under there. Okay. So I can't find his his wallet. Still running. 
Islands. Got the keys for it? Or, bring it uh, you got the keys for it? Are they still in it? Yes, or? I got them in my pocket. That way I can get her in neutral and everything. <laughs> yeah, so all I need is an ignition key, a little fob or whatever you got there. It's a newer truck, so I'm guessing you got insurance on it, huh? I'm sorry. So it's a newer truck, so I'm assuming you have insurance on it, huh? Yeah, okay. right. Okay. No, no, just whenever you get the claim or whatever, the claim numbers and stuff, just call our, our office and let them know. That way they can, they have all that information. And that's that. I'll trade you a business card. That way you got our info. Okay. And then... Got what you need out of it in the meantime? Well, I think so. As far I, as you know. I, I can't find my wallet and driver's license. Uh-oh. I think I must have left it. Must have left that obviously. behind. Well, you find out that you um, forgot something, they release property at them at the yard. Generally Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. But, okay. Uh, you can get, if you forget something, you yeah, can always get it out at the yard as well. Go through here and pick out what I need. Yeah, That's get the important part, stuff. So. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank All you right. very much. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Uh huh. All right. Well, you bet. Let me go ahead and get her loaded up here. Y'all taking him or what's? No, I'm just gonna take him. Just check him. Okay. Park and break a little bit. Still got power steering, which is nice. Watch this corner. Yeah, revving pretty good there. bit here. My winch catch up. That's, that's coming down off the curb. So the stuff ain't flying around. Get a little bit of cleanup done here real quick while I got my shovel and everything accessible.
too. Angleton Yard. I'm going to break all my straps loose. Get this thing ready to unload. And I think after this, we have a abandoned vehicle we have to go pick up over at the Texas City Buckies. If you've seen me record a few videos over there, we double towed some of the private property towaways we do for them pretty regularly. So, head over there and try to pick it up. As soon as we get done with this, I was actually on my way out the door to go pick it up whenever this rotation came in. So now I gotta go run over there and get it picked up for him apparently it's been there since uh, like Tuesday it's Sunday now so it's been well overstayed on its welcome I'm going to try a little different format on this video I guess try to record what I can of my uh, my day today so if you like that format getting to see a little bit of everything that I do throughout a day let me know I can do a little bit more of one more stuff like that I do I will probably cut more of the this stuff the strapping and unstrapping go ahead and drop 
drop our bed down. That's the uh, Toyota from that major we worked in Jones Creek, which is actually, that video is actually airing today. Uh, so th this morning about the time that y'all probably noticed that one getting posted on your, your uh, subscriptions on YouTube, that video was airing right as I was filming this one. So. Hope y'all are enjoying that video. While y'all are enjoying that video, we'll be filming this one. I did not take off the parking brake. I'm sure this thing's not gonna want to steer funny because of the bumper dragon. In a little bit. I'm gonna walk around this way because I don't wanna really want to get between the vehicles. Window up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing unhooked, do my paperwork stuff real quick so we can get to Texas City. So you'll probably see us over there in just a minute. All right, we are over here at the Texas City Bucky's now. I believe this is going to be our Jeep compass that we're looking for. Yep, it's tagged. It's got a front tire that's just about off of it. No. Stay here, buddy. Stay here. Got a little French Bulldog stitch here with me today. This thing. First things first, we're gonna take us some pictures, notate any damage that we see. Obviously, tire being messed up. Take a picture of the they said this thing's been here since like Tuesday. Mm, some scuffs down here on the bumper. I didn't see anything else really in the front ends. These are what's gonna save your save your bacon whenever somebody tries to file a damage claim on you. Get the 28 on it. 28 is tin code for vehicle registration. You call this gray. So we need to take some pictures of the inside because private property towing, you don't have access to the 
inside of them to take pictures, inventory them. Take pictures through the glass. Locked up on it. All right, let's get this thing loaded up. So I believe these are front wheel drive, so the wheels being slightly turned won't be an issue. In park, the front tires won't roll, which means if they're sliding, they won't be turning in the direction that they're turned there. So, for some reason, it comes up a little bit of an angle. I can always block the rear tires, stop them from rolling, and It'll come up the bed just about perfectly straight. Let's see what we got. These have nice big control arms on them. Yeah, this thing comes up. I think there's nothing underneath it. That's the park. Dragon both, they slide right over straight. So you can always block the rear tires too now. So it is a little bit of an angle. Stop the rear tires from spin. Now the whole thing slides over. Goes right to the winch. Just like that. Back them off the block tap underneath it. Straight. Was it a pretty good angle the other direction? Thing rolls up here. on it make sure she's safe to go because we got another 45 minutes to an hour or so back home with it I'm 
once we get this thing strapped down, got all four of our straps. There's one other thing here. You'll notice this fuel door, because it has this lip and we're hauling it backwards. Catch wind pretty easy. So, get some of the, I like the wide, like three inch painter's tape. Rip your little piece off of there like that. And put it right over the leading edge of the fuel door. This also works good on like bed covers, tonneau covers, anything like that. So now air flowing is gonna flow over that instead of catching that lip. And blowing it open, ripping their fuel door off where they're gonna wanna sue you for damages. I'll fold these back. You're good to go. Alright, we're back at Angleton. Get this thing unloaded here. See what, uh, what else we can get into today. It's a little windy. Yesterday was nice and calm and just as sunny. Positioned myself pretty far back here. I'm gonna let this thing slide off. I don't want the front end to stop back here. some WD-40 down. Shakes probably. Should I'm having it today. 
tires. Not cooperating with us. Slid pretty good there. easier to do it like that than to let it uh have to shake it off the entire way kind of use the bed to push it back just a little bit further there now if you've watched any of my recent videos i walk the truck out from underneath it so i'm gonna lift the bed off the ground pull the bed in uh, right there which now the rear axle is just barely off the ground it's still in park or the air brake still set set it back down Lift the bed, roll it in, continue that process. Sure you know what's in front of your truck so you don't push your truck into anything. Like that this thing has plenty of clearance sometimes you have to walk it another time to keep your the angle of your bed as low as possible this one's got plenty of departure angles all right you got this one uh, unloaded here Got to finish up my impound paperwork. See uh, whatever comes next. Thanks for watching, guys.